I'm with Dan Honey on the Rubicon Trail. Hi, Dan. Hey, Moses. How are you? I'm doing really well. And Excellent. It's, it's great to see how this MSD system's working. Let's you and I put some time into this one. It's performing uh, flawlessly. Uh, I'm just, as a consumer, I'm loving it. Uh, MSD has done a great job on this kit. What are the most obvious differences about the MSD Atomic EFI and the former BBD carburetor? Well, on the highway, obviously, I'm noticing horsepower gains and fuel economy. My fuel economy is up now 37% over the Carter uh, carburetor. The horsepower is there, but more importantly, when I'm at Wheelers for the Wounded, rock crawling, the idle stability and the ability of this unit to control the idle allows me to simply just crawl without having to feed it throttle. Yeah, off highway we have idle stability, the ability to flawlessly and seamlessly move from rock obstacle to rock obstacle without missing a beat. I don't have to worry about trail breakage because the MSD is able to keep me at such a slow pace and a steady pace that I'm not having to constantly feed it throttle which in turn increases my chances for breakage. So it, it gives me a peace of mind to be on the trail with the MSD kit. This little section right here used to be a, a difficult for me with the carburetor. So with the new MSD Atomic on here, what I'm able to do is just crawl right up this without using the throttle at all. It keeps my idle speed down and it keeps me just at a nice even crawl speed as I go right up. So you're actually going to go up this without touching the gas pedal? Yeah, we'll have no, no clutch, no pedal, no brake. We're just going to let it, we're just going to put it in low gear and let the MSD Atomic do the rest.